Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bug Fables. Last time we infiltrated, uh, or no, we didn't, we didn't actually infiltrate it. We got captured and uh, came to this particular location. And now we are going to continue to sneaky sneak around. So, I don't remember exactly which areas we actually made it to last time, but I don't think we've been up here. Oh, did you lose something, sir? Actually, can I? Oh wait, I can fight now, can't I? Probably. Can I? Yeah, what you gonna do? Okay, so cool. I can't fight. Alrighty. There's that fight down. It looks like we only have to do about three, maybe four more of those, and then we won't have to worry about fighting these enemies anymore, which will be pretty nice. Stolen silk. This previous silk, uh, this precious silk was stolen by bandits. We should find its rightful owner. Previous silk. Get out of here. You're stupid. Alright, so I guess we should probably go investigate this area as well. Like I said, I'll probably get my level up and then mostly avoid the enemies from then on. Huh. So it's actually lead out of here? Wait, is this the well in town? Wow. Did not expect that. Huh. Also, wow, I just I just had like a What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Is it epiphany? Like, I I just basically had an idea. Um, is this how we get into this door? Doesn't seem like it. Considering... Yeah, yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> I, I was... I, I, I don't know. I had the idea. I know that's not, like, dirt, but... I was like, wait, we can go under things. Maybe this will work. No, it, it, it will not. All right, well, we're here. Is there really a point in being here? I mean, I could go take a nap, but I really, really don't need to. So how about we just get back down? <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure that was actually town and not some other location. So we could have gotten here that way the entire time. I wonder, well, no, because we didn't have the ability to dig under. I was gonna say, I wonder if we could get under there, like, with uh without having to get the hint and the key and everything but no kabu couldn't dig until we got in here or he could but he was holding out on us all right enemy take that <coughs> all right not as much xp for that particular fight but hey we got some cash for it so worth it in my opinion so there was nothing over there so i guess we need to head back now I wonder whose stuff that is that was stolen. I don't remember speaking to anybody that would be interested in silk, per se. But, uh, I guess we'll keep an eye out for it, just in case. Eeh. Six XP for that one. I mean, the little fly variant of them don't really give a lot of experience. I was also thinking, didn't we get an a, uh, a uh, metal? I was thinking ability. First battle with an extra turn, but their exhaustion. Oh, okay. I, They start battle with an extra turn, but their exhaustion ran so quicker. I thought that was, they start battle with an extra turn and they have more damage. But no, that is not the case. That would be very good if we could ever get something like that though. Just seeing if there's anything I want to change around on my badges, but we, I don't think we need that one or that one. So we could probably take both of those off and Probably put an HP plus on Kabu. Make him even tankier. Potentially. Increase an ally's defense while poison. No real point in doing that unless we're putting a lot of stuff on them. Increases an ally's damage taken but makes the rest of the party angry at seeing their friend hurt. Uh, Let's just go ahead and put some more HP on Kabu. I mean, it's not going to help right now, but once we level up, we'll get that extra HP value. Which isn't too far off. As long as we start fighting some uh, more powerful enemies like this jerk right here. Alrighty. It's seriously one XP away. <laughs> so actually in that fight, I think I have a better idea. In fact, I mean two HP, it's nice, but I actually think I want to put meditation on. The equipped allies do nothing command restores one TP as well. So, it does. it is unfortunate that it has to be on a specific character. 
But I think I'm going to put that on Leif, because there's a lot of times when I'm doing battles where I specifically don't want to attack with Leif. So having him able to restore our TP a bit could be useful. Also, we could just get some TP restorations in fights if, like, we're at the end of the fight and an enemy has, like, one HP left, for example. We could uh, just go ahead and do use that opportunity to uh, heal our TP a bit. No, you don't. Okay, we're just gonna lay you because you're annoying. This should be what we need for our level up. Ooh, we just got the thing that gives us more uh, XP. That was nice. <clears throat> what I mean by that is the uh, proc off of the, uh, what was it, Fates reading that we got? Uh, that gives us some extra experience at the end of the battle. It doubled it in uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and I remember quite a few strats that made use of that. So, should we just go ahead and round our TP off at 20? I wanted to get more metal points, but I think just getting, uh, just rounding our TP off at 20 sounds good to me. There we go. Wow, we have 40 berries. That's quite a lot, actually. So now, can I, can I still fight you? I can. All right, had to do something really quickly after that battle. We got about five XP out of it, just in case you were wondering. And we also really, really got beat up. Uh, quite badly, actually. <laughs> so that's not good. But we did, we hardly used any of our TP, or uh, I restored the TP that we did use with Leif. So that is nice. I would leave now, but I don't think that's a very good idea. Like, I could get back to town and heal. Ooh, hello. Speaking of. You bet. Actually, no, let's wait. Like, I'm low on health, but I have a ton of TP. So, do we have just like a bad healing item we could use? On Kabu? Yeah, let's just go ahead and use one of those. Uh, excuse me. I meant to turn Zikrank. Uh, come back here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, what do we have over here? Ooh. That looks like it goes to, like, a different part of the dungeon or something, so I'm gonna go explore that one way I didn't check out before we go that way some more. This area over here. Hello? Are you keeping anything that I am interested in? Ooh, hello. What is this? Huh. Was this maybe used, like, was I maybe able to come here sooner to creep around? Because this looks like something I would use to kind of sneak around this area. An orange horn. A broken orange beetle horn. It is unusually sturdy and radiates hubris. It looks like the horn that the little beetle character that keeps trying to push the rock uh, has. Maybe it's his horn. Well, regardless, we want to go ahead and get this berry. I'm so glad I don't have to call them uh, bean spots anymore. I can actually call them berry spots. Excuse me? Is that one of those really, really good berries that gives you good stuff just hanging out on that table? Because if so, that is, that is crazy. Hello, you don't see me. I'm just trying to steal that berry that you have sitting on that table that I believe is a permanent stat boost. And if it is, I definitely want it. There we go. Yeah, it's the one that increases our TP. Damn it, I just got that to a nice round number. And now you're gonna give me this. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna complain, but... I don't know, I'm, I'm one of those people that likes their stuff to be nice and rounded. Okay, there wasn't anything else over there, right? I don't believe so. I got the berry, and I got that bond uh, berry as well. So let's just go ahead and get out of here. Later, you two. Don't feel like fighting ya. Well, I think we are gonna go ahead and take the hit here on this heal, because that looks like it could possibly be a boss up there. So I don't wanna go into that unhealthy. So let's just go ahead and it's, it's nine berries. That's nothing to a couple of professional explorers like us. We're rich, or V likes to think we are, probably. Save completo. Alright, is this just a second floor, or are we about to walk right into a boss fight? Looks like where something goes, it's like a pedestal? That looks like a boss fight to me. 
So you're the ones causing all this ruckus, Team Snake Mouth. This imposing presence. Are you the leader of the bandits? Hmm, quite sharp. My name is Astotheles. As you say, I lead this pack. You've got some nerve throwing us in a cell. If you give us the key, we may even forgive it. As if your feelings were of my slightest concern, you were trapped for what your heads could offer. You are the Ant Witch's lackeys, my sworn enemies, and your capture could be a gold mine for my people. The Wasps promised a handsome reward if we got rid of you, but I was blind to their slimy ways. Astotheles, you, may, you seem reasonable. Surely this needs not come to blows? You naive queen's lap bug. Between us, there can be no compromise. But you shall have an honorable fight. Do your worst. Curses. Have it your way. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna bop you. Alright, well, first things first, we want to go ahead and ID, but the question is who do we ID with? Probably V. There we go. So that thing in the random fights we've been having, it, I would say it probably procs in about every other fight. And it's a damage boost for the rest of the turn, which was super useful when I got it, when I had a character that had two turns that round, so. Interesting little detail to note there. Let's go ahead and get you for our Spire card collection, why don't we? You crook. What if I'd never found my Beamerang, and what's with ruining my items? 50 HP, pretty tanky. I don't care if you're the boss, you're going down. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and start, as I like to call it, or I, I guess I'm kind of dubbing this now, the freeze cheese. No, didn't work. Ow, two hits. Huh. But yeah, that's what I'm going to dub our, uh, our tactics with Leif, the freeze cheese. Hmm. I mean, I missed the first one, but do I go for another one? Let's go for one more. If, uh, whoop. It would help if I didn't mess it up. What a waste of TP. Well, let's go for the poison, then. Most bosses, or enemies, I find can be poison, so there we go. Ooh, I got the perfect block on one and a good block on another one. That thing, uh, the spiky bod with the perfect block is really, really good on, uh, Kabu. Yeah, I'd say we have a comfortable amount of TP to do a lot of things right now. Like, we can just, we can throw so many things out and still be good. I can't but feel this boss may have a second phase, though, because of how easy it's proving to be right now. Boom. Also, this guy has no defense. Okay, let's... I just want to see if it actually works on the guy. I'm guessing he's immune. I got the timing wrong on that one. Ooh. He did a different attack there. That was weird. Times two. So you get to attack twice a turn, eh? Hmm. Really don't think we need to use any of our items. I think we can save those. He seems like he's probably gonna die soon. Unless he pulls something pretty crazy out. Not going to waste any more TP with the Leif trying to get a freeze off. It seems like I'm either getting extremely unlucky or it's just he's immune to it. So we'll leave it at that. The poison seems to be working well though. Ooh. So that's the best thing about um Ow. Ow. Jeez, you have a lot of attacks actually. Yeah, you like that poison damage though? I hope you do. The poison is messing him up, actually. So, Spiky Bod, if you get a perfect block, it does, like, crazy amounts of damage. Well, not crazy, but it does two damage, but if it has multiple attacks like he does, if you manage to block both of them, that's four damage that they take. Boom. You just died on my spiky posterior. Ooh, that's actually pretty rough. But you're dead. Wait. What's going on here? What is this? What is this nonsense you're pulling? What is this? Oh, I probably have to attack you with Kabu. Cause he's the only one that can break defense. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get out of here. Can't try any of that weird shenanigans blocking with your staff on me.
Nah. I yield. I can fight no longer. That wench has got good eyes for minions. Do it then. End me. You got the fair fight you requested. That's enough. A smackdown is good enough for us. Yeah, don't be so dramatic. We just want the key. Boss. You're, you're hurt. Boss, why didn't you call us? We could have handled these chumps. And we still can. Let's get them, boys. Tch. After such a tough fight. Enough. We bet our honor in battle and I lost. They're free to go. Seriously, boss? We can take them. It's okay, friends. The gardens bloom, do they not? And we drove the wasps out. There's no point in keeping them here any longer. So you've come around? You could have just let us go, you know? I don't get you sometimes, boss. You three, you're against the wasps, correct? Indeed, they are a threat to all of Bagaria. And you may not be so bad. Maybe I can trust you with this. You got the earth key. We don't know the ant kingdom even one blade of grass. But those wasps betrayed our covenant. They are lower than dirt. I hope they'll meet justice at your hands. We don't have the time or resources to go after them. If we do, don't think it's to do you a favor. Well, Leif with the sass. <laughs> with that key, your mercy is repaid. Now get out. If you come back, we'll throw you in that cell again. You heard the boss. Get out. Don't make us kick you. You bandits have got some swinging moods. I don't get it. Are they good or bad? Come, V. I don't think that's an answer we'll get today. Sometimes it's not that crystal clear, either. I got the sandcastle key. We've got both keys. We should head to the sandcastle, then. It's at the most northeast part of the desert. Yeah, I've seen it before. You hide anything back there, sir? Anything in this pot? Can I have some of your berries? No? What about this? No? Okay. Just, just making sure I can't rob you of anything. Hero attacks and all of that. What's the deal with you? Looks like I would place something there, but pretty sure I can't. Oh. Huh. So that's where that ends up out. Interesting. Well... Huh. It would actually be faster to take that shortcut I found from in there, but... I don't want to go to the sandcastle right yet. That would be very dangerous, because I am extremely low health right now after just getting over a boss fight. So I'm going to head back to my death. I'm going to head back to my death. Yes, yes. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to head back to town and take a rest. And then I'll probably meet you back over there with the sand castle. Alright, so while I was on my way back uh, over here to rest, I thought we could go ahead and take this lore book back and read it. Oh, hey. Oh, please. Wait, what? Oh, whoops, sorry. Lore book. Ah, oh, wonderful. That is one of ours. Yes, I'll put it on the shelf, so check it out whenever. <laughs> it, it was like kind of similar colors, so I get confused there. Which book would you like to read? The Everlasting Sapling. It is said that the sapling was a creation of the roaches. The legends of the saplings have brought the first settlers to Bagaria, bringing upon the creation of the ant kingdom. According to legends, it is said that eating even one of its leaves will grant immortality to the bug that eats it. Our only clue to its whereabouts are artifacts mentioned in ancient texts. They say one resides in Snakemouth Den, but its dangers have proven too much to conquer. Was it truly made by the roaches? Could it have, been, could it have caused the roaches to vanish? I hope this chapter of history will be cleared up in my lifetime. Hey, that was interesting. Alright, so one other thing I was thinking about actually was... Um, since we're here, uh, and we did just, you know, clear out basically an entire dungeon into a boss fight, why don't we head to the uh, Golden Settlement, because we do have the horn that that one character is probably looking for. Yeah, let's let's see what these quests say. Ore wanted. I'm creating most fantastic work, but I'm missing a rare ore. I cannot leave town to search for it in Stream Mountain's Peak. Would anyone be able to go in my stead? I mean, sure. I don't know where that is, but... Okay, yeah, there it is. But please, my horn, it's... C come find me at my house in the Orange Town Place. I'll tell you more. <laughs> Orange Town Place. Some bandits stole some rare silk from my store. I need someone to retrieve it for me. Okay, yeah, I've already done that. 
Jin and Eri. Hey, um, we've been tasked with like evaluating an explorer team wreaking havoc near the commercial area. We've heard they can get kind of violent, so we'd appreciate some backup. <laughs> yeah, I can help you two out. So yeah, how about we do a little side questing? I was going to... The reason I was saying we would probably go to the um, Golden Settlement is because I do believe that's probably where the next card master is. I'm still not sure who it could be. I don't really remember the hints they gave us per se. Maybe it could be Acolyte Aria? I'm not positive. Also, there's a bean spot right here. So let's go ahead and grab this. How many of those do we have again now? Five. So we could actually go get something as well. I do believe there's quite a lot of these bean spots here. I just can't remember quite exactly where all of them are. I think there's one in here actually. Stop! These items are not yours. Huh? You're saying we're liars? Explorers don't lie. You should check again. I know how to do my job. Don't you dare try to swindle me. Oh no, please don't put me in a fight. I'm not ready for this, I don't think. I didn't hit that save. Oh, damn it. What is the matter here? They're trying to steal Amber's items. We're not. Look at our permits. Would a Maki-approved team ever lie for some cheap items? That permit's fake. What'd you say? Uh, really? It's missing its crystals, haven't you noticed? That is obviously some cheap imitation. Thieves and a farce to boot, you will answer for your crimes. Phew, good thing you're here, we had no idea. To heck with it, we'll just take these by force. Oh gosh, please don't be too difficult. Please, 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 for the love of everything. I was not ready for this. I saw the quest with, Gen with Jin and Eri, but I assumed it would be like, um... The Monsieur Scarlet quest, where we actually had to talk to them pe to begin it. I didn't think we could just walk up into this fight. <sighs> Alright, do me a solid and don't be too difficult, please. You have a stick as a weapon. Hopefully that means you're not too difficult. Alright, we're gonna have to play it super safe here. I should have like 100 health. What? You get called out and come at us with a stick? Oh, only 35 HP actually. Like that'd work on something like a spider. Just give up already. Hmm. Well, how about we see if we can frigid coffin... Pissy? Pishy? I mean, I'm... I'm hoping their name isn't Pissy because that would be kind of unfortunate naming. Okay, they don't do that much damage. That's good to hear, actually. Alright, well, ID that enemy in the back with uh, V again. Whoops. Pressed the wrong button. I panicked. I'm good at panicking. It's, it's one of my strong suits, really. Alright. Oi, you can't solve your problems by throwing rocks at us. I didn't say that, that so you'd build a wall. Whatever. The beamerang goes around it. Oh, does this character build walls? Interesting. Ow. You have your own boomerang, I see. It's just a stick, but it's still dangerous. Hmm. Well... Let's just continue beating up on this character. Um... See if we can frigid cough on you again. I would appreciate if you would be frozen. No. Okay, good. Good to know. Ooh, I thought I was going to miss that, actually. Oh, wait, why did I just do that again? Shit. I... For some reason... For some reason, I was thinking I hadn't ID'd him yet. Oh, getting too ahead of myself here. <laughs> All right. For some reason, I was like, okay, yeah, I still got to ID him. No, I don't. Hmm. All right, think slowly and carefully. Is there anything we need to use on anyone? We actually don't have a lot of healing items. Hmm. Icefall might actually be good to use here. Succulent Platter restores everybody's HP. Hmm. Hmm, just not sure. You know, let's go for a needle toss. The damage on this is really good. 
Okay, there's one poison. Oh, I poisoned you twice. Take that. I don't think I'm gonna Frigid Coffin again. We're just gonna kind of uh, roll with this now. R Real explorers are this strong? Let's bail. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was scared for nothing. Drats, we let them get away. Oh, thank you. I can't do enough to repay you. Pay no mind to it, Miss Amber. Your services are already most helpful. This is bad. They'll just come back and harass someone else. We have no idea where they'd flee to, though. Their permit's fake, right? Maybe they'll try to steal the real one? We'll check out the area under the association, then. We shall as well. Let's get them with haste. The area under the association, excuse me? Where? <laughs> Not familiar with said location. Alright, well, I wanted to come over here to do this. Ooh, a lore book. Huh. So it's not just... It's not just, um, berries in there. Well, interesting. So I wanted to come down here. Let's see, what do we got? The XP booster, or the HP plus. I mean, I could get both of these. Gimme. What is this? Power exchange. Boost an allies attack by one, but also reduce their defense by one. Hmm. That could be pretty good. But let's go ahead and get this EXP booster just to get it out of the way here. Have you have any berries? Ooh, another poison attacker. Metal. That could be very powerful. If I just decided to make Kabu like some kind of poisoned maniac. That annihilates everything while being sick. When he gets a tummy ache, he just he just murders everything, basically. Uh, so wait, what was it? So wait, why exactly was I coming over here? <laughs> I have actually forgotten now. Oh yeah, what new what new metals are in the shop? Numb resistance, hard hits, and poison resistance. Okay, so pretty boring things. Oh, okay, no, I remember what I was coming over here for now. I was actually walking over here to put my money in the bank. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And I guess since I do put money in the bank off screen a lot, I suppose I can show everyone how much money I have. My entire life savings is 55 berries. So there you go, I guess. Actually, we're probably going to want to rest again after that previous fight. So let's do 22 berries. Yeah. Alrighty, so I'm going to go take another nap, and I think this is actually probably... We cut a lot of stuff out at the beginning, but I think this is going to come out around to a pretty good sized video, even with all the editing out, so I think we're going to end it off here. Next time, we'll probably head to the Golden Settlement and see if we can take care of some quests there and potentially find the Cardmaster, and then we will head into the Wasp Kingdom. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.